everybody and welcome back to a very heartfelt, grim RimWorld episode. And that is because, um, yet again, beyond everybody's control, the last two deaths I could really blame on myself. This time around, though, we unfortunately fell to the hands of the Raiders. The Raiders came powered up this time. They know that we have a good lot of power military options over here, and they figured, well, we have to come at fucking Falcon hard as dick, and they did. They came at us really hard, and unfortunate, that was the result of Jeff. Jeffrey Wilson, the pirate dying. I have a grave set up for him. I found his body through the uh, corpses over here. Believe me, this is heartbreaking for me to actually go through all these dead bodies and find Jeff, but I found him. And Jeff will not be burnt. Jeff will be put next to rest, next to Ryan and Gino, because that's what I would have wanted. So don't worry, Jeff. We'll get you out of there soon enough, man. We just need to build that grave. Other than that, guys, welcome back to RimWorld. <laughs> and man, you know what? I'm going to say, this time, I set everybody up in time. Everybody was set up. Unfortunately, the Raiders are coming with stronger weapons now. That is because of the mod that we have, the Artillery mod. What happens with the Artillery mod, as Rose sets that grave up for us, thank you, Rose. As a matter of fact, Rose, can you actually go and, um... Well, Rose, can you go and... Okay, never mind. Storage, uh... Just human corpses would be nice, and sure, make that important. What I would like to do is, uh, get Jeff out of there. Is she gonna go and get Jeff? No, don't, don't take this random nobody there. Storage, uh... No, don't, don't take him. Fuck him. We, we want, uh... <laughs> Rose, put, put him down. Can you grab Jeff, please? How would I... God damn it. Alright, so we're gonna do storage, uh... We're gonna remove the storage for now. And let's see, remove, delete zone. Okay. And Rose, go and grab, oh God, somebody grab Jeff, man. Or maybe, mm. no, don't put him in there. Fuck this random raider, Rose. Rose, you're, you're missing the point here. All right, you know fuck it. I'll militarize him. Rose, will you leave that raider alone, goddammit? We don't need him. I don't know how to get Jeff out of there. Oh, I, I know how. I know exactly how. Alright, my bad. Hold up. Rose. Uh, let's uh, make it so this man is basically ungrabbable. Same with all these bodies, except for Jeff. Jeff is good to go. Alright. And Rose, you could unmilitarize now and maybe hopefully go and grab Jeff, who who we need there. No, don't take anybody else over there. Oh, you you assholes are you guys are pissing me off right now. These are no no good. Paul, no good. And let's see. There you go. So as soon as Jeff is moved into there we go. There's Jeff. What do we have here? Jay is giving up? What? Jay, what is your problem? Oh, no. Cheeky Jay. Okay. Um, <laughs> somebody needs to go and capture this man. Shook, wake up, man. I need you to go and uh, arrest Jay. For giving up on us. Oh, no. Another raid? Oh, Jay has gone on a mental rampage. Oh, god damn it. Well, take him near where everybody's at first. Before you let him loose, because he might want to, you know, cause some problems for us. And Jeff... Is over here. See what happened was that Jeff's dead impacted us so much that Jay went nuts. Like he didn't like Jay and Jeff were like the best of bros, and that's what happened. So Jeff, rest in peace, buddy. You, Ryan, and Gino get to hang out there soon enough and you know, have all the time in the world in heaven or whatever other afterlife you guys might believe in. Whatever it is, man, it's fine. It's your prerogative. And let me go ahead and make this uh good to go. Same with this thing over here. And let me set up a zone. Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba, dumping stockpile right about through here again. And let's make this, yeah, corpses only and make this uh, important. There you go. And then these bodies could basically be made to be grabbed again. All right, excellent. There we go. Um, BFD, is he set up for recruitment? He totally is, and so is Mr. Zesty. Now, we got to wait for Jay to show up here along with uh, Shook. All right, there he goes. Soldier needs break. Who would that be? Shook? Oh, my bad, Shook. Uh, I'll let you go right now. Alright, so, guys, I need you to, Ricky, if you can, go and start, you know, trying to knock Jay out. Jay's an ace guy, so be careful. He's actually a decent fighter due to that, so. Um, Shook. 
let me have you run away so you can go and get your rest. All right, there you go. So guys, just knock him out. Don't kill him. Just knock him out, please. Ricky, um, bro kick and... Okay. So, Ricky, you go and um, run away now because you're a good fighter as well. I don't need you knocking him out. Or killing him, I should say. Ricky? God damn it. Jay, stop going after him. Oh, there you go. We knocked him out. Thank you, Ricky. So, Ricky, go and um, capture uh, capture Jay. And Bro Kick, thank you for your help as well. You were able to keep him uh, alive long enough. Oh, man, that's a goddamn shame. Scary episode, man. Scary episode when our people start turning uh, tricks on us. You know what? I should start being like a dick about this and putting people in gibbet cages. What I should do from now on. You know, I was actually told that. I forgot who told me that. I was like, you know, Falcon, you're being too kind on it. They turn on you, put them in gibbet cages. Teach them a lesson. I'm like, you know what? I should do that, man. Unfortunately, I'm not this time. But next time, whoever crosses the line, you've been warned. If you turn code on us again, I will put your ass in a gibbet cage and I'm not letting you out. I will put you out there in display for the Raiders to show up and be like, yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> you like that? Probably don't. Um, by the way, there's a weapon over here kind of uh, occupying the space where our door would be at. And unfortunately, all of our other weapons are pretty much, uh, or I should say that our weapon spots are pretty much uh, filled up over here, which kind of sucks. Uh, meaning, it's probably time for us to actually start smelting down some weapons again. So let me add a bill over here and we'll make this... Uh, Dismantle or smelt uh, normal weapons, I guess. And we will do this as, yeah, all that stuff's good to go. And forever close, all right. And that's going to be Swaggy's individual's job to come and do this soon enough. I guess for that, we could probably even put some weapons over here, right? So that would probably make it easier. Okay, there you go. So we'll have some weapons be hauled off there as well, so then Swag can do its job and whatnot. Um, let's see, we still don't have, we don't have any more stone for this area over here. And that is my fault because I've been kind of letting it... Well, it's not really my fault. Unfortunately, because of the raid, I really couldn't do that at the moment. So, um, there's no other way about it. We just had to kind of wait around. What do we have over here? Rose successful area. So BFD is back with us. I'm not sure if BFD ever really turned code on us, but I think what happened was he just, um... I think I might have used the wrong option to rescue him. Like, instead of rescuing with Daniel, I might have arrested him. I hope that's what happened anyway. Uh, so BFD, you're good to go. There you go. What happened here? Cell map has started a fire. And that's inside the base. That's usually what happens. And I've been told that Falcon, there's a roof, a hole over here. And I'm aware there is. I just can't seal it off. You've seen it, right? I, I put up a wall over here. I put up a door. I made it sealed off. And it sealed the area off except that roof. It just doesn't want to, unfortunately, take care of that for us. So that's not a big deal, though, because what I'm going to do either way is actually just um, get rid of all this shit over here, because that's going to be our main area for food anyway, so not really a big concern. Mysterious Blight has destroyed my crops, that's great. Thanks a lot for that. Higher power deity, whoever you might be, that's after me. I'm on to you. So uh, weapons are being moved over here to be dismantled as well, or uh, I guess smelted by swag, so we'll keep an eye on that indeed. Let's see, everybody's still running around doing their thing. Alrighty. And as soon as this weapon is picked up, we can set up this door again, which I really do need that door up and running, by the way, so... Alrighty. Uh, the other issue here, what do we have to... What else do we have in store for us today? Well, those bodies need to be burned for sure, so BFD, if you can, let me recruit you momentarily. Again, let me have you drop your weapon. I'm gonna set you up so you can kind of burn those bodies for us soon enough here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just came back from being, like, injured. And you want me to fucking go and commit some sort of, like, you know, small genocide over here? It's like, yeah, that's exactly what I want you to do, man. Unfortunately, it's kind of how it rose, so... BFD's kind of doing his thing, going up here. Alright, and let's start throwing some fire bombs in there. Not fire bombs, but whatever. Molotov cocktails, same thing, man. Apparently I'm a child. Molotov cocktails, fire bombs, same thing. And let me go and hook you back up with your... Where, where's that carbine? Carbine? That's not it. What happened to the carbine? Oh, whatever. Here, get a pulse rifle, then. I tried, man. I, I tried. Believe me, I just couldn't find it again. I'm not going to take the time over here to just look for that weapon one by one. It's a waste of my time, unfortunately, BFD. Why did that uh, Molotov cocktail land outside? <laughs> God damn it. Whatever, man. Uh, speaking of which, this weapon needs to be hauled off so I can set up a door right there, guys. So hopefully soon enough, you guys uh, get that fucking gun out of the way. Thank you for that, Shook. 
Alrighty, and how are we doing over here, uh, Swag? Are we doing okay with these weapons? Uh, what is this? Metal bar times 10. Okay. What do we have over here? Lucky Jake has recruited Zesty. Alright, Mr. Zesty is now in the group. By the way, I, I don't think I took the time to introduce our new guys, did I? Because unfortunately I was stuck with the fact that I had to find Jeff and everything like that. So, uh, our new recruits are Zesty and, uh, who was it? Zesty and somebody else. Oh, I think it was... Yeah, so Bob Bobberson has been renamed to, um, from Strapping. Wait, what? I gave him orders already? That's weird. I don't even remember doing that. So, either way, Strapping has been renamed from, uh, from Strapping to Bob Bobberson. So, Bob Bobberson, welcome to the colony. And then Mr. Zesty, um, got renamed from Stout, I believe, who was that turncoat. So, Mr. Zesty, welcome to the colony as well. And he's gonna go get some sleep, it seems. But Mr. Zesty, before you do that, can I actually interest you in a weapon, sir? Because I'd like you to be able to fight for us as well. So perhaps before you do that, let me hook you up with this weapon over here. And then Bob. Where's Bob at? Bob, before you... Oh, you already have a weapon. How the hell do you have weapons already? Did I just pass out? Did I have like a momentary blackout or something? I remember doing this. I guess I must have. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Alright, whatever, man. Zesty, Zesty, Zesty. Um... I need to give you some orders, though. Like, what are you going to do for us? Uh, zest, zest, zest. Uh, if I, did I give you orders, too? Don't tell me I did. I fucking did. Wow. All right, guys. I apologize. I am apparently delirious suddenly. Really? Did that happen? That didn't really happen, did it? <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell just happened, but that is actually really terrifying. I remember doing any of that. How long ago was this? How long, how long was I gone? No, officer, I was not in a coma momentarily. Alrighty, so those weapons, we have some weapons to be smelt still, um... The swag's still working on them. We're getting about 10 metal bars per, uh, weapon, so... I'm not sure how good of a, I guess, trade that off that is for our weapons. Probably not that great, but considering how many weapons we do have, we might as well just roll with it. Uh, the other thing that we do need to do is actually set up some stone our stone situation again because that is quite low indeed so let's actually go and have them start doing some hauling of stone and it seems that there's a pretty good supply down through here so let's have them go and pick this up and I guess might as well get the rest of this over here and if we can get this and this as well uh no not debris fuck debris cancel this out Alrighty, so there you go. So let's have them haul that off when I get the chance because I do need uh, a few more stone tiles to finish up this area over here, which is almost done. I'm actually quite proud of that. It's taking a while, but it's going to get done indeed. And other than that, I guess we could for now call it quits for this uh, bill. We smelted a few weapons. I guess I actually just wanted to get room for the weapons that we had to remove from that area right there. So all good. We'll get that going up soon enough. And then stone cutter's table. The other thing that I haven't done, I actually haven't uh, processed the metal bars themselves. Solar flare has begun. That's good. Always. Later on, lights. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to actually process the metal bars. They're just kind of hanging out there. Metal bars by themselves didn't do a damn thing for us. I actually have to smelt them and make them into regular metal for us. So that is the other situation we have going on over here. Speaking of situations, have we, we haven't finished cleaning out these rooms, have we? And why is that? I've actually ordered this part of the home region, right? Don't tell me I dreamt that up, too. No, it's part of the home region. I just haven't gone around cleaning it. Come on, guys. And let's do this over here as well. Now, I suppose we should probably start thinking of expanding these rooms, but I guess I'll do that afterwards. Right now, I really want to get the stone situation set up before I actually finish the rest of the rooms, because that's really a big priority. Jay is being like a total uh, jerk over here, not being one to get recruited. Jay, come back to us, man! Alright? <laughs> I'm not sure why you're so mad, but I guess he's still mad about Jeff dying, but it's, it wasn't my fault. You guys saw that, right? I had everybody set up perfectly fine. Unfortunately, Jeff was just a casualty of war. It happens. It happens. By the way, speaking of casualties of war, have you guys watched, um... Figure Forever? Have you guys watched Casualties of War with Michael J. Fox? You know what? Probably not amazing, like, you know, Back to the Future or anything like that, or Teen Wolf. I mean, Teen Wolf wasn't probably not amazing either, but it was alright. I enjoyed Teen Wolf, goddammit. Um, speaking of which, let me actually really quickly... No, no, at home read. Stockpile. Let me expand this a bit to here. Just to have more room. Um, yeah, Casualties of War with Michael J. Fox. It's like, you know, it's a telling of the Vietnam War. Um, well, whether it happened or not, we don't know. At the uh, Spoilers alert, I guess, if you ever want to watch Casualty of War. Michael J. Fox wakes up 
And everybody's like, oh, man, was it really? Did it really happen? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> That's basically a Casualties of War. It's a it's it's a sad movie. I liked it. It was good. I remember watching it as a kid. Of course, I always watch like the most fucked up movies as a child. That's probably what pretty much uh, is the reason why I'm like this now. But I watched it as a kid growing up. Like I used to watch it like on Saturday night or not Saturday night, Saturday afternoon matinee. It was basically Saturday after the cartoons would end on Saturday morning. Basically, uh, the programming would just switch to, like, nothing but adults. So, like, you know, they had, like, Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon matinee. And all the time, they would always show Predator 1 and um, Casualties of War. I felt that every time I tuned in, they always had those movies showing. Which was fine. I mean, fucking, I'm not going to complain about Predator. Actually, it was Predator Commando, another Arnold movie. And Terminator 2 on occasion, too. So it was all those three movies. Which is fine. I mean, I fucking grew up with what? Michael J. Fox and Arnold Schwarzenegger? I love it, man. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> really not. I'm, I'm excited about Arnold's new movie, by the way. Sabotage, whatever it's called. I'm a big Arnold fan, man. Uh, I'm just a big Arnold fan, essentially. Oh, uh, let's see. Never mind that he was the governor of California. Didn't really do much for our state, though, unfortunately. Our state is still complete shit, but, uh, you know, whatever, man. He tried. I don't think that many people can do much for California at this point. All right, uh, why are you guys eating raw food is the other question I really wanted to ask here, considering that we have... There you go, yeah. Get, get your warm meals, man. Okay, so, um, stone is being developed quite nicely here. We're almost done over on this side. Now, is there anything really pressing that we need to worry about? I don't think we do, but you never know. Um, I guess I can continue finishing off this area over here. And I guess I could do that by putting some hydrophonic tables. Um, if I do that there, they won't be able to get that right, so... I want to skip one, and then do like, bam, bam, bam. All right, I'm going to have to skip a bam for a second just because I need to mine down a bit more. But at least for now, I could set these right here, and then boom, boom. I've been boom, boom, boom. That was Black Eyed Peas, right? I never, I never know, like, the Black Eyed Peas songs, like, uh... I was never really a big Black Eyed Peeps fan until I saw um, Fergie's Behind. And then I was kind of like, yeah, Black Eyed Peas, bro, because I'm a scumbag that way. Uh, combat Supplier, good. That's really good because we have a shit ton of weapons we need to sell. Rose, um, oh, you're nearby. Excellent. Open some communications. Let's sell some weapons, man. Uh, Glock 19, you can go fuck yourself if I could sell you, apparently. And this as well. Glocks, that could sell itself. Uh, ba -ba. Nope, Glock, you're leaving. Don't try to hide. And let's see what else can we do here. Laser pistol, yeah. Uh, my Star Wars, uh, I guess, child in me kind of outgrew that now. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't want to use that. We have a few extra Molotov cocktails, it seems. We could sell those. Whatever the hell this M4 is, you could kind of go F yourself. Sell that. M24 is no longer needed. Laser guns. Uh, p -p -p Glock 19. I said Glock, well... Colt could go F itself too, but where's the Glock? Glock, I need you. Glock, don't do this. Where did the Glock go? There it is. We have 180 left to sell. Um, let's go with uh. Ba -ba. Well, see if we could do this 24 and the Colt. There you go. And do they have anything for us? Oh, let me buy this metal off of you, as a matter of fact. And no people, unfortunately. They don't want to get into that side uh, line of business just yet. It seems like no Falcon. We don't want to deal with people yet. The economy isn't that bad for us just yet, which is nice, I mean. Must be nice. Here in the U.S., it's fucking god dog shit terrible. <laughs> I need work. I need, I'm need. i so unemployed. Alrighty, either way. Um, stone is coming out really nicely. And as a matter of fact, because of the nice stones collection that we have there that um, Swag's in a pretty much built for that, I think we could finally finish this off. We won't finish it immediately, but at least as long as we have the groundwork for it, it will be done. There you go. And finally, let me put a stone tile right here, too. There you go. Stone tiles. You guys wanted stone tiles? I gave you stone tiles. It was a pain in the ass to do. Took a few episodes to do it. But we did it, man. That's all that really matters. Alrighty. Now, they're building those things inside, which is really important to us. Uh, the other thing that I needed to do is actually mine the rest of that out, right? So, um, how are we doing this? We're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll do this down through here and then down through there. Alrighty. 
And again, this will be nothing but hydroponics in this little area because I want to get rid of this and, you know. I feel this has been here long enough. I'm not sure what I want to do with this area just yet. I'll probably make this like a complete, like, I don't know. I'm not even sure what to do with this yet. I guess I'll keep it like partially batteries and communications and like a, a proper eating area. Well, we'll see. I'm still debating what to do over there. But at least down over here is going to be nothing but food uh, building now. So that's actually a good plus for us. And then structure, let's do a power conduit to come down. Right about through here, I want to say. No, I don't think that's right. Uh, let's see. Hydroponics right through there. Skip one and then here. Yeah. So we'll want to do the high, the power conduit one line down. And then I'll just run it down the between these tables, essentially. And that'll work out for us. So hydroponic here, there, and then... Start building those right there. What do we have here? Detected cargo? Yeah, whatever. Don't eat that just yet, man. I'm surprised that we haven't gotten, like, more people to join the colony just yet. Like, it's, I feel like it's been, like, a few, like, a uh, couple of episodes really slow. Like, we only got, like, what, two people? But that was because I bought them in reality? Which sounds really insensitive when I say it that way. I apologize. I didn't mean it that way, but... And that's kind of what happened. And, okay, we recruited Jay, so Jay's back with us now. Jay? Hi, right, man. I know that Jeff's debt hits you really hard, but you gotta persevere, man, okay? You can't go and turn, uh, turn code on us, essentially. And by the way, Jay, I need you to hook yourself up with a good weapon, so let me give you this h and G11. That sounds pretty fucking awesome. Alrighty. All good. And then the rest of that guy mined out, so I could set up the tables properly down over here. So, furniture, hydroponics, basin, bam, bam, and then power conduits will be running down through... I would stay right about through. Yeah, seems good. We'll run them down through here. And then we'll put the uh, appropriate, I suppose, uh, sun lamps into place. Although, wait, 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 wait. Do I even need these here? I don't think I do, do I? Because it basically it would extend... I would just need it down over here, right? Because then this would just give me... Because we need the sun lamps from... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't need that there, Falcon. Think ahead. So let's do that. Fuck that. Sorry for that. I think I'm not. I was about to build. It's kind of like, hey, Falcon, what are you doing, you asshole? It's like, I'm sorry I'm not. Actually, you know what? I could just probably connect it from this one. I don't even need all this shit over here. I mean, I'll probably run a conduit down there at some point because I'm going to extend down here because there's room over here for us to do something with. But I guess I'll leave it there for now, but it's not really a big priority. So how about we just set up the proper lamps that we need to power these things on? So we'll do um, stone lamp here. Here, uh, here, and here. Alrighty. And I like that. I like the uh, look of this. This is going to be really fucking awesome. And I suppose we could probably start putting some concrete down over here as well. I mean, just to kind of make it easier for them to kind of walk by and whatnot. So, concrete, if you may. Let's uh, take care of all... Or should we go with concrete or should we just put some carpeting down here? I'm not even entirely sure what to do. Paved tile, maybe? Uh, you know, Telerian concrete tiles, quick to move on around, but not very pretty. Now, I want pretty, man. But quite ugly. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do carpets in here. I'm not sure what kind of uh, color carpet would kind of match this, though. I don't want to do green, because they're already dealing with a lot of greenery. But then the carpet is green over here. I don't even know, man. I guess we can make it blue. I like blue. Uh, so let's do carpet through there. Carpet through here. Carpet through there. And there. And there. And then we'll... So we need right there. And then let's see. This is part of our home zone. If it's not, we definitely want to clean this out. And well, a lot of it is, but not all of it. So let me do that. There you go. Hopefully they'll clean it when they get the chance. And we'll be good to go right there. Alright, so we finally got the hydroponics section as well as I wanted it to be. Meaning we could pretty much knock this area down over here. We don't need this anymore. But um, I'll keep it up long enough to get a little bit more food, although we're over at 3,000 already, so I don't guess it's not really that big a priority anymore. And the thing is that growing in two different sections makes them run from one side to another. So yeah, you know what? Um, this area served as well, but I think it's pretty much time that it uh, comes to an end. So thank you for keeping us alive for so long, Hydroponics, but you are no longer needed. So we'll have you get these constructed there, and um, we'll be good, man. We're rolling pretty good. Um, stone tiles still are a little bit more needed still. Uh, 140 here. Okay. 
Tables getting built. Man, I, I like how the, I like the look of this. Like I've never done like a proper, I guess, hydroponic section like this before. Like usually my old hydroponic sections have looked like this piece of shit that I had going on over here, just like very makeshift, kind of like run of the mill. But for once, I'm actually very like, I guess, being very, I guess. Quote unquote OCD anal about it. It's kind of like, no, I need my fucking hydroponic section set up right here, guys. All right, so how about we call it an episode here today, guys? Um, we were able to put uh, Jeff to rest and we got everybody back and we had no raids right now. Raids are about to come down next episode, I'm sure, because we've had we've had quite a bit of rest and the freedom recently to kind of get some stuff done, meaning that the raids are not too far away for sure. By the way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode and if you did, I encourage you to leave a like. If you did, if you didn't like it, then it's fine. Don't like the video. Perfectly fine, it's your prerogative to do so or not. But either way, I will catch you guys next time.